Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today we are going to explore like if you would like to do data migration from like on premise to cloud or maybe cloud in cloud like S3 to S3 or maybe S3 to EFS or EFS to S3 or if you would like to migrate data from on premise like Hadoop or HBase data database to your cloud, then how we can do the data migration. That's the thing we are going to demonstrate today and for this today's demo like what the AWS service we are going to use like data sync which is provided by the AWS cloud. This is the service we are going to use today's demo and for this demo like uh, uh, like what all we are going to do like uh, from one S3 bucket to another S3 bucket we are going to migrate the So like if you are talking about S3 to S3 right so if we are going to S3 to S3 like there is already one CLI command in S3 providing like AWS sync command but by using that sync command if you do like million like it's kind of big data right if you would like to do the transfer right or if you do the migration right then what the problem will come there is a chance to get the timeout issue also I have already demonstrated by how we can use the AWS sync command in CLI I will give that video link to this video description so that you guys can have a look that also but today's demo like let's move on to the how we can use the data sync in AWS okay guys so that's the, our goal today okay so for that we need two S3 buckets so let me see how many S3 bucket we have here now if it is not there two bucket then I am going to create one more bucket for this today's demo okay guys so let's move on to the AWS S3 console okay so I am in S3 console now I have only one bucket so let us create one more bucket here okay so Uh, like that I am just giving and let's keep the same region or if you want to keep in different region that also you can do as per your requirement you can select guys okay guys so let's select everything as default and let's click on create bucket So my bucket creation is done and this bucket is totally empty and in this cloud tech s3 bucket i have multiple object so in this cloud tech s3 bucket i have many objects here so we'll transfer or migrate some object to that particular s3 bucket there is another service in aws uh, like a replication of sync service is there right we are not going to explore that we are going to explore that data sync okay so let's go to this data sync service here so if you not recently visit right then you can search here uh, like data sync then it will come so let us open this here uh, like what the data sync like here there are different type of option is there right on premise to aws cloud to cloud or within that aws right there are multiple options and how it will be work and what the benefit like it can be move data from faster and securely it will be transferred that's the one more advantage like it will be securely and it will reduce the operational cost also okay guys and there are different kind of use cases there migrate your data protect your data archive your gold data or manage your hybrid data workflow and discover your storage also there are different kind of use cases there you guys can have a look also so today our agenda we will do the within AWS okay guys so let's uh, see how we can uh, transfer the data so and one more thing I will show you like if you want to do on premise to cloud then we need to set up the agent also how you can set up the agent that part also I will demonstrate today okay guys how we can set up the agent okay so let's create a task here first so this is the task uh, where it's saying like uh, select the source location so source location Today our demo is S3, so let us select the S3. Here multiple options you can see, right? Like NFS and Microsoft Azure Blob Storage, HDFS or maybe Object Storage, okay, EFS. There are different kind of options is there. So and select oh, in which location your bracket is there. So in my demo uh, today we are going to use the Virginia region. So here which will bucket we have two bucket. This is the source bucket. So let's select the source bucket. And here option is there. Would you like to uh, take that uh, specific folder or would uh, you want to uh, enter bucket you want to transfer that option is there so let me show you that here we have like uh, different kind of folder so let us select this private one and inside the private what we have like uh, this is the image we have one okay so let us select this one or if you want that entire bucket to the transfer then, then you can select that uh, uh, root here you can give just root then it will uh, 
So go to that and here one important part this I am right either if it is now it since it is already there so I have selected this one if it is not there right then you can uh, this auto generate option will come you can select this auto generate I will show you in the target like how we can create the auto generate okay guys so let's go to and this is the destination is nothing but the target location okay create a new location and if you have already the location then you can select that so we don't have any location so let us select the S3 again and our bucket is then Virginia only so let's select this bucket and if you would like to give any folder uh, like a folder prefix or anything uh, you can give otherwise you can specify the root directory here uh, used to data transfer choose the folder so that will be used for the data transfer okay guys so this is the target let's keep same only here and here the one option I have right here we have like uh, auto generate option or if you have already existing you can select from here so let us click just click on auto generate so it will generate on behalf of you and with that all the required permission i will show you what all permission is having this im okay and more details about the im i will request you guys can look the im value which i have already demonstrated in my previous session okay dear data s3 to s3 okay something like that we can give and here multiple options we have like uh, verify the data transfer and check integrity during the transfer verify all data in the destination there are different kind of options let us keep the default only and use the availability only if you want you can set the bandwidth also and entire source here are the other option the source like data scan basically entire source you would like to scan or you would like to scan like specific term all the data or only the data that has to be changed okay that kind of option also there or maybe all, all data you can select also okay that up to you let us select the default only and the frequency like if you hear one more thing guys that uh, by seeing right cli command we can do right but uh, by using the cli command uh, you cannot schedule right like uh, periodically data will be transferred whenever some changes come it, it will be transferred right but without data sim also we can handle that like uh, in my previous session i have already uh, demonstrated like uh, uh, for the S3 only, but not from on premise to cloud, that we won't possible. Okay, for S3, that like uh, we can like schedule some kind of lambda function, or maybe the same command we can create on cron job kind of thing, and we can do that. Or we can do, but that will be not more secure, right? But this is like a more secure and very faster, one. like it will be very fast. So, here for this session, no need to select any scheduling thing, let's leave as it is and here is the and logging level and here one more important part is the cloud watch log so this log is important like if anything happening in that log right so that we have to select so let us select this log group auto generate you can just select the auto generate then it will create for you okay if it is not available then go to the next and just preview it all this thing whatever we have selected right just preview it and let us create the task now tax is created and it is an available state and here we have option if you want to edit you can edit also uh, or if you want to just to start this task then you can start also here or start with default or we would like to set up some override option also okay so let's today's demo let's select the start with default only time what we can show you like if you want to set up the agent right then how we can set up the agent that what I am going to show you. Here no agent, okay. So let us create one agent. And agent here, there are multiple options is there. So either you can select that EC2 or maybe other Microsoft that there are, or Cardinal Best Machine also is available or VMware also available, okay. So for this demo, let's select the EC2 here and here is the endpoint and then this key, right? This key is the important and here we have to give that. Uh, whatever EC2 you are going to make that as an agent right so that agent should be accessible from the browser that's the one uh, condition is there what doesn't mean is let me show you that so let's go to that EC2 console here let's go to EC2 So I am in EC2 dashboard here. So let's see if any instance is running or not. No instance is running. I have one instance which is in stop. So let us start this one. So it is started successfully. So just wait. 
sign the private IP here IP all this thing private IP is already there but public IP still once it is came up right it is running then we can get this public IP by using that we can access from browser or maybe DNS okay guys so how to create EC2 instance and how we can create a static web application that I have already demonstrated in my previous session you guys can refer that I will give that link to this video description also okay so let's try to hit this one and let us see so this web application is running here okay guys so this is the thing we are going to use there so how we need to give here like let's give there and this one and then get key but we cannot give this one okay so now get the key so now see our agent is ready here and this key is coming up right so we are able to access it right? whatever we adjust by IP address we hit that same key by get this agent we are able to hit right so this is how also we can set up our agent also okay guys so that also keep in mind and now let's see what the task is going on here still uh, this task is running so meantime what we can check we can check the cloud watch also so let us go to the cloud watch here if you come here right here where I am role this is the I am role and S3 bucket source bucket everything is there right the cloud watch log either from here you can go or maybe you can directly search here like the cloud watch search here and logs group here ok so let's load here go to the logs groups and we'll see our logs group is created logs groups name is if you see here aws data sync right so let us go aws data sync and here the logs is created and it is request is started here so is going on and we have given that uh, like uh, only when that uh, any error is happened that time only that log will so now it is done here looks like our uh, task is completed and if you go here just refresh no error message came right so request has been started execute started finish with the status success right but if any error is came right that will come here for, uh, because we have selected here right if you edit here let me show you that we have selected the log group here log basic information such as turn as a transfer error right if any error is come then it will log there in the cloud watch right so that's why info general information is logged and if any error is come right no error so it is success now let's go to the bucket let's see uh, our bucket thing let's come here and just refresh now the private folder is came and inside that one uh, that whatever image was there right that also came right it was empty now it is came right so this is how we can if you want data migrate right from uh, cloud to cloud or on premise to data, like other uh, like uh, other AWS service like EFS or anywhere right so this is how we can do I hope this session will help you guys and if you feel this video is helpful, I will request you guys please subscribe and share with your friend and like this video and if you have any doubt then please put those comments in this video description I will definitely address that okay one more thing uh, let me show you that I am also uh, quickly okay guys so let's go here tags and let's go here and this is the I am right so let us go to that I am just I want to show you that the hotel permission is having inside this I am okay. so let's come here if you go to the permission tab right so let us come here and just here hit you can check right what all permission is assigned here right so put object get object put object tagging list multi upload part get object delete object okay about the multi upload part these are the thing in action get list and list upload okay this is the one role is created and another one is that let me show you that also so our target bucket okay data sync target data sync cloud tag s3 this is our target bucket and if you go inside here also some bunch of permission is happening okay guys so i hope this will helpful to you guys and 
to support me or maybe to motivate me to create such kind of video please subscribe my channel and share surround with your friend that will really inspire me okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye